why there was no need for you to have angered our director right now. But still, you would have eventually shut up if you just not I guess you got a point. <laughs> Yo, welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? <gasps> He's been Hawaiianized. Uh, I can understand why. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more complicated. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year? Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try too? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantomy effect. <laughs> Uh, I'm just joking, all right? I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi-kun? Well... There he is, the anti-thief detective. I hope he slips up and self-destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However... No, I shouldn't say anymore. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Wanna meet now? Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Shifter, I close 
You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. <gasps> he suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean... this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? W well uh... In prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, <sighs> you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? <sighs> this is bad. I'd better tell the others. about you know what right with the principal and we will now begin the emergency morning assembly as many of you may already know principal kobayakawa passed away yesterday i wonder if that suicide rumor's for real it happened in front of the police station didn't it i think i was passing through there at the time 
The principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing! Either way, it serves that principle right. Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this, too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <laughs> I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you and if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died, covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation. But she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods. More prominently, its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. 
Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. I already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah, the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey! You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. Damn it! I'm human. I have to be. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. I just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Huh? That kitty? I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. I remember the data you showed me about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. 
This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society? I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I'm really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really... impossible alone? How horrible! What? I, I can't... see... Who's there? Hester? Ugh. Hey, have you seen Morgana? I want to, but maybe we're worrying too much. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. too cold about this? Oh well. Have a good day. There's no one like the Phantom Thieves! Still not home. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. 
Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. Wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. I can't stop watching news about the Phantom Thieves. Hilarious. Impossible. It is the headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? It's definitely on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty too? I'm positive I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him too. You said you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Huh? The hell? Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. Big Bang is space lingo, you know? Um, not necessarily. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. We better be able to breathe once we get in there. Is everyone ready? I'm activating it now. considered threats? President Okumura must be on guard what with everything that's been in the news. That bastard. He's just causing more trouble for us. Whoa. It's 
as though we're in a film. I wish I had brought my sketchbook. Hey! that robots there are tons of them they all have the big bang burger logo they're saying something you must adhere to your shifts if you don't like it you can quit however you will not be compensated what are they talking about They said, it's being disposed of. These robots are part of Okumura's cognition, correct? That means they represent... True. That's what they appear to be externally. However, this is most likely how the workers of Okumura Foods are viewed by their CEO. So he thinks there has... If they're treated like this in reality as well, then the company truly is exploiting them. See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said! Mona is our main objective here. He doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Let's search further in. <sighs> Damn it. Look at it. There's no way we can force that thing open. We've hit a blockade quite early. But we have to control the real Okumura's cognition to pass. Oh, that means Mona hasn't been able to proceed any further either. So if he's here in the palace, he would have to be somewhere before this door. Hold, vigilante! Who's that? <sighs> Those clothes. Could she be? A black mask? Wait, is she the one Madarame and Kanashiro were talking about? So she's the reason for all those people going brain dead? It was a girl this whole time? <sighs> Are you the one who has been following us? Say something, damn it! <laughs> Enough of your misunderstandings. Mona! You're okay! Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. If you came for the treasure, you should just go home with your tail between your legs. Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this... This beauty thief! Beauty thief? I'll have you know, she's a Persona user, too. My name is Beauty Thief! She really called herself that? Uh, any tension that was in the air has just gone out the window. We will take the treasure! Ona already said that. You are not qualified to be Phantom Thieves! 
Do you even understand what it means to be a phantom thief? An admirable phantom thief is... Yeah, tell them! You! What do you think it means? Yes, that's... right? Enough with the idle chit-chat! You started it. Mona, who the hell is she? Wait, I'll fix this. You! Uh, me? Learn to take a hint. Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid. What? Um... What was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. I don't know. Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. We will take the treasure! You already said that. We don't have time to chat. <sighs> no point. It won't open. Don't underestimate us. Here they come. Huh? Huh? Snap out of it. We need to go. We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry. Oh, hey. Bet you're tired. Uh, that was quite rough. I haven't felt exhaustion like this since... I first awakened to my persona. What have you been looking at all this time? Sorry, I just didn't want to stand around and wait. The burglary at Okumura Foods is circulating the news again. Ugh, damn it! Why'd they keep coming after only me? It's all because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door! That door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. So, how'd she get it to open? I wonder who that girl could be. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Do you believe it's true? Well, she did look like one. Did Mona betray us? I want to believe that too. I don't think he's betrayed us. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us such as exposing our identities. Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? Considering her tone and physique, she looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Uh, for real? Where at? At school, I think? Wait, what? But now that you mention it, I feel like I've seen her too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on, after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Let's check them all tomorrow. If we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura Foods, then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. We are going to take them down.
Oh! Man, this girl's hot! Ah, oh, but she's younger than me. Ryuji! No way! She's the same age as me? She looks like my dad's friend. Get back to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. Even if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. They're all starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? You can say that again. Hmm? This girl! Haru Okumura. <gasps> Okumura? Wasn't the beauty thief like this too? Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her. It would also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. This may be worth looking into. But why was she at the palace? We could just make her spill the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. yet I'm Haru Okumura correct the only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura CEO of Okumura Foods care to explain why you are inside your father's palace oh so that's where we met wow you figured it out in just a day you looked really good in that biker gang outfit let's not talk about that So, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various... doubts about him. Things have grown quite serious lately. That's why I want to make amends, even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. I found a lonely-looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Mm-hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the Metaverse. There's no way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. Uh. I just want my father to atone for his crimes, and help Monachan, who gave me a chance to do just that. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we were... No, thank you. I will do this with Monachan and him alone. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. We shouldn't ignore Morgana either. I'm home, father. Drive them away. That's right. Make it a priority. I finally get a foothold into politics, and this happens. Phantom thieves? Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about phantom thieves? 
It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called phantom thieves. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. Both the young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. Yes, father. Very well, then. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. I understand. I will do the best I can. Good. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. write something. I can't believe it!
You're going to apologize when Mona comes, all right? I know already. And, and why are you just saying that to me? We need to be wary of the beauty thief, too. So we're doing a stakeout here. We'd better be ready for the long haul. Ain't he gonna show up today? I mean, what time is it now? Hold that thought. You guys are seriously slacking off way too much. Do you have business with us? Aren't you fulfilling the requests on the Phantom Aficionado website? Even leaving comments? It'd be best if you don't accept them so recklessly. The police will track you down in no time. If that were to happen, we'd be caught up in it as well. Uh, that's not what I intended. But that would be my fault. Uh, I'm actually not that great with machines. I'm truly sorry. Why are you apologizing? They're telling us for our sake. We should be thanking them. Won't you please put what happened behind us? So I'm the one you're here for? You guys need me after all? Is that it? Really? Ryuji! We're sorry too, Morgana. We weren't taking your feelings into consideration at all. Lady on. Uh, everyone, shouldn't you be using code names? Ryuji didn't really mean what he said, you know? He wants to apologize. Well, it's like... It was my bad, too. I mean, I don't mind if you're not human or if you're useless. What a douche. On setup was completely ruined. Oh, is that right? So I am just some useless cat to you guys. You're so full of yourselves, but do you have the skills to back that up? Try and catch me then! Get in, beauty thief! If you can't do this, don't count on me ever coming back. There they go. Did he even think about how long he made us wait? Fine! We'll do this! Jeez, this isn't what we came here to do. All right. Piece of cake. You gotta hear us out, Morgana. There's nothing I have to talk to you about. Come on. There's no need to keep being so stubborn. I can't just give in like this. I have my pride to protect. <gasps> What's that over there? Huh? Seems we've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Ah, those two. It'll never end at this rate. What do we do now? I don't hear the sound of his engine at all. Could they have left Mementos? 
Our lack of vehicle puts us at a severe disadvantage. We should probably just head home for today. Damn it! Freaking Morgana! Right. Are you sure that was what you wanted? Of course it was. You made me look everywhere for you. What were you doing somewhere without any reception? Out late with guys, that's it, isn't it? I would never do such a thing. Come on, let me have some fun too, will ya? Can't you do that for me? Uh! Haru! You little... Let go of Haru! Ah! Uh, what the... Goddamn cat! Yeah! Mona-chan! Damn it. I am useless. Someone... Anyone... Is anybody out there? Will you shut up, you stupid cat? Damn that Morgana! He is so getting it the next time we run into him. Um, buddy. Was that Mona's voice? Hey, over there! That doesn't seem right to me. Sorry about the disturbance. It's just a lover's quarrel with my fiance. Fian what? But she's clearly fighting you. How dare you make a fool of me? I'll be telling your father about this too. I won't forget your faces. Are you okay? I'm fine, but Monachan. This is nothing. Was that person really your fiance? Whoa, so you're engaged then? That didn't seem like an ordinary fight though. Shouldn't you talk to your parents about it? I think it'd be useless. I'll just be told to beg for his forgiveness. Even if it means groveling on the ground. <laughs> It seems she has her reasons. I'll, um, apologize about what happened earlier. So, would you let Haru rest for a while? Of course. We'll take her to your place, yeah? Thanks. Did you get enough rest? Mona-chan? Anyway, it's just as I told you a moment ago. I can't have you guys risk your lives anymore for someone useless like me. To be frank, there's no assurance that I'll turn back into a human either. This can't be called a fair deal. That's why I think we should split up. <laughs> Who said we're acting as phantom thieves for your sake? I'm doing it to expand my own horizons. No need to tiptoe around the situation. We're splitting up. You should stop lying. Do you remember what you said to me when I found you collapsed in the metaverse? That you're a phantom thief. That you're going to get stronger and have the others acknowledge you. You love being here. Don't you? Of course not. I was lying to myself too. But when I formed a contract with my persona, I understood it all. Doing this because my father is doing something horrible was nothing but a superficial reason. The truth is, I... Don't want to get married, right? I thought that since an adult with responsibilities made the decision, 
It couldn't be wrong. I was such a fool. Tied down by vague notions and stayed quiet as my marriage partner was chosen. But I won't tolerate this anymore. I can't stand that creep! <sighs> That's how I truly feel. Why are you looking at me all of a sudden? Mona-chan, why is it that you always talked about becoming human again? That's... At first, I only thought of this team as a temporary dwelling until I regained my memories. But I wasn't making any progress on finding out what I am or why I was born. Morgana... I wanted a reason of my own. A reason to stay with the Phantom Thieves. I don't have anyone I want to save or get revenge on. Someone like me has no reason to stay here. That's why... To me... This team is... Come on, say it! You can do it! It's the only place I can belong! I want to stay here forever! That was refreshingly honest. <laughs> you should have just said so from the start, jeez. If you stick with me, there's no telling what kind of trouble will come up. You better be sure about this. It's a little late for all that, don't you think? Of course we want to stay with you too. <clears throat> uh, so... Well... I'm sorry I worried you guys. This is where I belong. My mind's all set. I'll make sure to work hard to pay my dues. It's too late to cancel our deal, got it? We're reforming our give and take deal. All right. Well, in the end, wouldn't you say that your encounter with us was destiny? That's right. Encounter. Hmm? Oh crap, the last train's coming up! I must go as well. Let's continue this another time. I... Stay at our place. I'll arrange it. See you all tomorrow! I'm gonna sleep. I'm exhausted. Man, this place is as drab as always. going on here? You brought over another girl? Of course it worries me. I'm your guardian. So, you found our cat and even took care of it. Oh, it wasn't a bother or anything. I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> What's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know? No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? I'll contact you again, so... Oh, right! Can we exchange contact info? Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. You belong here, don't you, Monachan? Well, yeah. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Excuse me? 
You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you even stayed out overnight without permission. I thought I had been clear about the friends you choose. Father, they're not like... I have my hands full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. Hello? I need to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? wants to talk to us. That's horrible. It's that same fiancé guy, right? You know what's going to happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to his house on October 11th. That means our deadline is the 10th. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Your current living situation may change as well. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate! I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. The mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course! I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From here on, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourselves. You're suddenly lecturing us? You're too naive. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. Even her persona is lacking a solid form at the moment. Weak? Really? She can transform at the very least, but to be frank, she may slow us down. A lot. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. Nah, don't worry about it. It's actually convenient for us to target that CEO. Check out this news blog. There's a lot of negative comments in regard to the Phantom Thieves. The names of obvious criminals have come up, so why haven't the Phantom Thieves acted yet? The way they're getting heated is on a different level. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, all right? Of course! We'll get them both! October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then. I can't forgive them! Oh, hey, Yusuke. On. Perfect timing. Huh? What do you mean? I've been working on a way to incorporate beauty into our fights, instead of merely doing away with our enemies each time. And only a moment ago, I was struck with a bolt of inspiration. Ah, uh, is that right? So, what did you mean by perfect timing, then? Ah, yes. So my potential idea is good and all, but I'll require your help to pull it off. Would you please lend me a hand? Sure, but, uh, nothing too weird, all right? 
Have no fear. Ooh, that totally sounds like something you'd come up with, Yusuke. Of course, if you have no interest, you're in no way obligated to help. No, no, it sounds awesome. Oh, but what if we tried doing this beforehand? Oh, we should definitely incorporate that into the attack. I never would have come up with that part on my own. Awesome, I can't wait. Actually, I want to try it right now as well. I truly hope the star will grant us this. By the way, you seemed real fired up back when we first met. Was that an act Mona put you up to? You know, the beauty thingy? That was... um... I was trying to be a heroine of justice. Uh... is that a joke? You moron! Ever since I was young, people around me have never seen me for who I really am. They would be kind to me just to please my father, and would get money and presents in exchange. Adults, teachers, even friends. It seemed like everyone smiled at me for their own personal gain. That's why you kept the details of your family a secret at school. But the female superheroes I used to see on TV were so great. They always fought for others, not themselves, and they were always happy. I wanted to be just like that. Even though I knew it was a fantasy, I still looked up to them. Everyone goes wild over heroes at some point. It's fine having someone like that on our side. Right, Joker? What are you doing here? Uh, huh? This is insane on so many levels. I thought I told you not to associate with vulgar people. That bastard. Him? Did he come into the palace, too? No. He might look the same, but that isn't the real person. Remember what I explained to you earlier? You mean about the cognition thing? What are you mumbling about? Do you recall what I said before? That I would do my best for you? This is my answer to that! Are those... the rumored phantom thieves? I see. <laughs> You're handing them over to me as a plea for forgiveness. Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. You truly embody the Okumura motto. Very well, join me. Why do you only ever think about gains and losses? That's why the company has a bad reputation. All because you treat people like they're tools! To gain, you must give. 
one must be resolved to give even more if they wish to stand above others. We are on vastly different levels, and soon I will rise to a new stage, the political world. The cold reality of kicking people down is a part of business. Virtue and sentiment are for losers. <laughs> Okumura Foods shall be the foundation of my victory. His company is just a stepping stone. Mr. Okumura, we don't need a girl who's been soiled by thieves. Unless you make some compromises. I can't introduce her to my father. She needn't be your lawful wife anymore. Take her as your lover or whatever it is you desire. Very well. I accept. Lover? I was raised under this company's wealth. I even accepted a political marriage for you. This is not what we discussed! Father, you want me to be that man's plaything just to satisfy your own ambitions? <laughs> Why fret? You should be overjoyed that you're fulfilling your role as an Okumura daughter. This is the only value you've had from the very beginning. So, even his own daughter's life is a commodity to him. I... Now, why don't you come to my place? Let's have fun. I'll play with you until I get bored. A high school fiance who wouldn't turn on. So vulgar. No! Haru's persona won't stand a chance against that! Don't worry! <laughs> she hadn't awakened to her real power, that's all! expect you to come to reason at all. Uh-huh. We should have just told you this from the start, asshat. We are the Phantom Thieves, here to take your bride! Thieves who steal from others need to be severely punished. Haru, you good girl. Come, be my toy. I have no intentions of talking to you. For the sake of changing my father's heart, I cannot lose! So this is Haru's true power. Haru? Alright, let's do this. Time to pummel that scummy jerk. Persona! Melody! Okay, you knocked one down. If you knock them down, mine! That's two enemies knocked down. Panther, nice! All out attack! Persona! Some other way. This is your chance. Hit him where it hurts. Ravage them! Your chance! Pass the baton! Got that. Go! Not done yet! Got it.
<laughs> what a skill. saying about her persona being weak? Uh, he disappeared. Is that okay? Are you sure you taught her how things work in here? I did. Or so I thought. What's the point if she doesn't get it? Don't worry. Cognitive beings have no correlation to their real-world counterparts. You'll see when we get back. I guarantee he will be okay. Then he's not dead? That's right. Dude, does this mean we got a new teammate? Good to have ya. Uh... She already has a code name. You can call me Noir. Noir? It means black in French. I'd like to be a heroine of justice, but the Phantom Thieves are on the darker side of the law. I chose the name Noir to remind me of that. There you have it. As long as she's into it. She created quite an elaborate backstory. Noir. I like it. It conveys a dignity that won't bow down to others, as well as a rebellious spirit towards society. Thank you. Don't let your guard down, Noir. Our trip through the palace doesn't end until we steal the treasure, after all. Yes, sir! Someone's talking all big again. Then... Found a chest. What do you want to do, Joker? Did you notice? Come on, man. This is it! 
but we haven't found any information about the mental collapses. That bothers me. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe he's hiding it. We got this far. Wouldn't it be better to just squeeze the truth out of the guy? That plan is fine by me. Let's send out the calling card and take his treasure then. You can decide when we do so. Close up. Hey, hey. should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Uh, come again. This persona. A fee is required. Then accept this persona. Is this what you want? A fee is required. This is your power. You'll withdraw this. This is your. Is this what you want? Are you finished? What? No slacking off. I should write something. First one here? Yep, you've got them all beat. I see. Actually, this may have been a stroke of good luck. There's something that I want to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. What's the situation? I've been thinking. I want to be more helpful to the Phantom Thieves. So I came up with a new approach to fighting in hopes of making it a regular strategy in our battles. But I need your help to make it happen, Mona-chan. <laughs> oh, me, eh? Well, if you need me, then who am I to turn you down? Thank you. So, I'll get right to it. What I'm thinking is... And that's how we finish. Haru? 
Sometimes the stuff you come up with honestly scares me. Oh, it's absolutely fine if you don't want to. Not another word. I'll do it. You deserve only the grandest of performances. Great. Thank you, Mona-chan. I wonder if the star will grant us our wish. All right. Just you wait, leader. I'll show you my best. Oh, yeah. I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is at fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did for Yusuke and Makoto? Ah, you mean the Phantom Thief basic training. There's much we need to teach her. Please do! Oh, someone's excited. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. What other stuff should we talk about? Oh, about how we defeated my fiancé in there. Will that have any effect on my father? Nope. They did something similar in my palace, but I'm perfectly fine. Uh, is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually, cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamoshida's castle was terrible. Uh, and the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Now that you mention it, why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it, but I don't think you'd like them. Hmm. Come on, don't think about that dark stuff. Anyways, if a dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. Well, that's kind of impossible this time. <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future. <sighs> in any case, if Haru followed that conversation, there's nothing else we need to teach her. All right, let's do this. We will entrust this to you, Haru. Okay. I place this in my father's study, and the treasure will appear, correct? If he notices the calling card, then yes. Are you afraid of doing this to your own father? To be honest, a little. Try to recall your anger. It will guide you in the right direction. So we're carrying out this plan tomorrow? All right. No staying up late tonight, then. We can laugh or cry all we want, but we only get one shot at this. Everyone, I'm counting on you. Make sure you close up. Sir Kunikazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. <laughs> From the Phantom Thieves. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. 
I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? I will not fail. This matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. You phantom thieves. Quiet down. Answer this question. This is it. Way to go. figured out when we're gonna do it? This is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Whoa, the comments are coming in hot. Look! Take him down, Phantom Thieves. I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up, haha. Just do it quick, lol. They're just saying whatever they want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Damn it, this isn't a game! The means and the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. But we gotta do this! We can't just drop everything now! Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiance, we don't have another choice in the matter. If we don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Ryuji and Haru are right. Honestly, everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. But Okumura may just be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't leave this be. I feel like he's hiding something. Something big. True. And we already sent the calling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure!
Wait up! There! Well, looks like we caught up to you, Mr. CEO. I... I'm sorry. I've had a change of heart. I'll prove it. Father... Haru, you were always so agreeable. Whether it was in school or after, you only ever did as I said. You've become so admirable. What's gotten into him? Ah, oh, yes. Do you remember, Haru? You cried your eyes out when my work kept me from attending your first sports day. It was then that you stopped talking back to me. Honestly, you had me worried. Still, you stood up against me and became an independent young woman. Nothing could make a father happier than seeing that. You still remember something that happened so long ago? Back then, you poured your heart into making delicious food. You wanted to bring joy to others. Why did you change? Forgive me, Haru. But I would never last if my treasure was stolen. Please, don't do it. I'm begging you. Let's... let's end it here. Ah, Haru. You foolish girl. What? Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. That is our family motto. The cold reality of kicking people down is part of business. Virtues and sentiments are for losers. What happiness can be found in acting with justice but losing the battle? 
What happiness can be found through profit, gained by crushing the hearts of others? Better that than fail. I'd much rather destroy others than wallow in the misery of debt. Regardless, I shall soon set sail into the political realm. To the upper echelons of the world. To Utopia. My name shall be etched in the annals of history. Make your decision, Haru. If you cast them away, I'll let you join me on this ship. Stay and you will be incinerated along with this entire base. Now then, what is your choice? You fool. Noir! What about you, Vora? Don't you want to get out of here alive? Want to board my ship? You're fighting against the others, are you not? <laughs> so you were spying on us. You'll gain nothing by staying with them. That's what you believe, isn't it? You are absolutely right. Sell them out. Cut them off for your own personal gain. I'll even give you the switch once we take off. So, do we have a deal? I'll give you ten seconds. Time is money, after all. <laughs> Don't take me for such a fool. Everything's gains and losses for you, isn't it? I pity you, Mr. CEO. You lived with Haru for 17 years and you still haven't realized? In this world, there are tons of things that money and fame can't buy. What point would there be in only saving myself? <laughs> Nobody could replace these guys, period. You know what that means? Your offer was a no-go from the start! What? <laughs> Whoa, it hit! Ha, way to go, me! Wowza! You're so cool, Mona! <laughs> oh, stole the show, man! <laughs> Father. So much for the negotiation. Hm. You rebels. There is time before launch. I will crush you all! Very well, then. Bring it! You little! You won't get out alive! This is the power of Akurapu! It's time you surrender, Father! Give up. Try saying that after you've taken down my company's elite soldiers. Go, my employees. Be the foundation upon which my victory is built. Now, my devoted workers. Targeting them at random won't do the trick. You have to take each one out individually. Here, target that one first. The pompous man in the black coat. His employees Persona. are killing him. Let's break... Persona. This is your chance! Hit him where it hurts! Go down! Knock him right off their feet! The countdown starting again. Some other way. Take him down before it finishes! Yours! Okay, All right. got it! On to Persona. the Sona! Dance, Hedge King! Seriously? How useless can you all be? Whatever's become of company loyalty? Very well then. Haru! Teach our employees how to demonstrate their loyalty properly. Yes, Father. Huh? Me? My Haru faithfully obeys my orders. After all, she's nothing like your Charlotte. Basically, that's my father's cognitive version of me. Hey guys, don't let this get to you. Just remember, once we take Okumura down, it'll all be over. Let's... Not happening. You shouldn't have underestimated the strength of my company. Employees, fall in line. Employees, to me. Even more. Every problem can be solved with more manpower. That is the strength of my company. Happiness based on the sacrifices of others isn't true happiness. Panther knocked one down. Looking good. If you're gonna pass it, pass it to someone who hasn't had a turn. You've got All right, course. on to the next. Persona! Shall we? Persona! This one. Panther knocked one down. Looking good. Here goes. On to the next. Persona. This is your chance. Hit him 
Some petty thieves stand in the companies? No, in my way. There are no flaws in my father's logic. Shall we? Damn it. Accept the feet. This isn't it. Let's go. Ooh, you can hit their weakness. job. Enough of this. Target that one next. The slutty looking woman in red. Show some brand loyalty. Persona! Go down! Knocked him right off their feet. Nice, Joker. Go ahead. Not Not yet. Yet. Let's do this! Show them the weight of the corporate elite! Time to work! 
Any who disagree. My father's words are absolute. That's right, Polly. One must strike the enemy while the iron is hot. Shall we? Accept it. Noir's weaker than before. It's because she's hungry. Persona! for its weakness. are not fit for the job. Executive Director, come to me. Time to work. Now then, fulfill your duty as my right-hand man for the eternal prosperity of Okumura Foods. I won't let... My fa Shall we?
Thank you. Persona! This should do. Much obliged. Thanks. This right, I appreciate. Woo! upon how hard you work, shall we?
time. Maybe not. Persona! Chosen! You're mine. Persona! You're me! Persona! <laughs> Thanks! the Okumura Foods Company name. Kill those thieves, even if it costs you your life. Go! Power up! Noir, you so have enough. more defense right now. Ravage them! Ooh, Joker, you're so looking enough. cool. It's time. You're mine. Shaboom! Joker, that was awesome! Go, Sona! Let's go. Persona! Allow me! For the eternal prosperity No more waiting! Wow, well, Skull, you're charged up! It's showtime! Let's... What? Even him? Uh, someone! Is there anyone here? Why isn't anyone coming? Father, you've been forsaken even by your own employees. Let's end this, Joker. Damn it! If that's how it is, how I command you to go forth. Show them the might of our company! Yes, Father! Okumura Foods will be gutted if I fall! Do you grasp the situation here, Haru? Of course, Father! Well, then protect me! Even if it costs you your life! As you wish, Father! This is how my father sees me. Nothing more than a puppet that dances when ordered. This is for my father's sake. Persona! Look at Persona! You have lower defense right now! Yeah. Persona! <laughs> Sorry! Persona! How's this? <laughs> What's the hold up, Haru? <laughs> Haru! self dis Let's destroy before it can self-destruct. But Noir, that's... I am no longer my father's subservient puppet. The real me is standing right here, opposing him. Show some brave loyalty. Exterminating troops. Queen, Persona! your defense is lowered. No. Exterminating troops. Take that! Come on, Queen! Exterminate intruders! All hail, Father! Go down! Someone help! So even Haru couldn't finish them off! I've had enough! Someone get in here! Anyone! Father, the time's come to end this! I hope you're prepared! Persona! Yanagi no Okami Pinkaro! By the myriad troops! With this power...
In the end, I am just one more in a lineage of failures. I will contact your fiance and rescind the marriage offer. This may be the end for Akumura Foods. Forgive me, Haru. <laughs> Father! You were behind all the breakdowns and mental shutdowns, weren't you? I admit I spent large sums of money to help my company grow and to crush business competitors. Answer me, damn it! Did you do it or not? Not personally. I had a contract. All I did was make the requests to have them eliminated. Requests? Then there really is a mysterious criminal in people's palaces after all. So it's true. What kind of contract did you form? And with whom? <laughs> Come on, stop crying and tell us! Warning! Damn it, why now? Mr. CEO, can't you stop that thing? Oh well. We can't just throw our lives away like this. Look, up there! We've taken your treasure. Huh? There's one more thing you need to tell us. Have you seen this criminal's face before? We don't got time to get that out of him! We'll just have to inquire about it back in the real world. Panther! Shouldn't we bring Father with us? Don't worry, he'll be fine. We'll end up dead if we're not out of here soon, though. Only you can follow through on your own responsibilities. That is what you've taught me, Father. Will we make it? Probably not. Actually, I think it's impossible! We're counting on you, Mona! Still pounding. <sighs> we did a great job in there. You know, Morgana, you seemed almost normal when you took the treasure. Oh? The truth behind the mental shutdowns remains unsolved, though. Okumura wasn't the culprit. Still, he did mention requesting people to be eliminated. He has to know who's responsible. Hmm. Mom. Is this... His treasure... was a plastic model kit? What's the matter? I remember Father telling me something before he changed. He said there was a model kit he really wanted back when he was a child. But no matter how much he begged my grandfather, he never got it. Your family could get like a thousand of those kits though. Okumura Foods has been around for generations. But it was a small company until my father took over. My grandfather was a good man, but not the best businessman. He'd even lend money with no collateral. It seems the debt collectors were a frequent presence when my father was young. Well, that must be why. Why Okumura was so willing to pursue his own happiness at the expense of others. Whoa! This thing's insane! It is a staggering price. I've heard this can happen to collector's items, but still. People are gonna pay that much for a plastic toy? By the way, 
When exactly is the change of heart supposed to happen? Soon. That's all we know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens until then. Once he has his change of heart, we'll surely be able to find out who's behind the mental shutdowns. Yes. Exactly as you planned, sir. Everything. From the phantom thieves targeting Okumura, to them changing his heart. We've lost a convenient source of income, but I'd rather not risk his connection coming to light. Okumura was not fit for the political world to begin with. He should have just behaved himself. Of course, without fail, sir. I've requested that he handle the matter. Arrangements have been made. A sudden mental shutdown will occur at just the right time. We'll dispose of our disappointing connection and the Phantom Thieves at once. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> I've actually been thinking a bit about my actions this time. I was way too worried about who I am and how I don't compare to the other members of our group. Turns out I just don't have any guts, huh? Thanks. I think the reason I was so hung up on wanting to be human is because I needed a goal of my own. Well, not a goal per se, but something bigger. I guess more like... a reason to live. But now that I'm sure I belong with the Phantom Thieves, I know what I want to do. Do you know what it is? What else, right? I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure the Phantom Thieves succeed. In other words, our goals are in alignment. From now on, I'm not going to hold anything back. You'd better put some effort in too. Don't make me regret my choice. All right. Plus, I want Lady On to be happy. If my actions can help her achieve happiness, that's more than enough for me. I hope you're not thinking about how sappy all of this is. Huh. Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> the, 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 the dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of mementos. What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. 
Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but... I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Excuse me. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Left it in here. Huh? How did Yoshizawa-san handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. <sighs> Sir. So, uh, pardon me. But there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamishida, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. I just cannot understand.
She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To Odaiba, right? <sighs> no connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Ugh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Beginning navigation. Hey, is that? Atmosphere. Is this a palace? But we never activated the nav. Wait, do you think it was Yoshizawa? It's a possibility. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her. Yoshizawa? Yeah. 
Stay on guard, though. Why? How are you here? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? I... It's my fault. What? Come on! You must... Kasumi... Stop! Stop it! Yoshizawa's in trouble! Heresy! You dare to spurn our Lord's mercy! <laughs> Are you alright, Yoshizawa? That voice... Senpai? <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. Accept yourself. Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting it perks like that. Where are these voices? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting special treatment is like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she earned it? That's... I understand how you feel, but well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worth one. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other girl's not doing us any good. Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. Will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream. <laughs> it's all in your best interest. <sighs> Filling my life with this pressure, demanding the results that you want. Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am... I am... Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <coughs> Glad of an acceptable from cinders. You strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well... If those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... Contract. The spell cast upon you. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion! <laughs> we'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? Thank you. Please do.
Quite impressed, considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? I could tell from your voice and your posture. By the way, why are we dressed like this now? Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here, quick! We can explain later. Right! Oh! We're back at... Huh? My clothes changed back to normal, too. This was your location before you entered the Metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse. With palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally I wouldn't believe any of that, but after seeing it all for myself... But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Huh? A cat's talking? It took you long enough, and I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana, Senpai. Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well... I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but... I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honors status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so... I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. And then all of a sudden I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. The nav? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right. Sorry, this won't do any good. Why's that? 
The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so I guess it's no big deal. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? I knew it. Wait, that means when we were at the cafe with the Ketchisan, I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Ugh. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way, what's your call? That's right. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awakened to my... Uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So, that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. Thank you, but I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana-senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today. But I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. Hmm... I mean... Come on... Well then... So Kumara finally had his change of heart. That has...
Hmm? Wait, where's Yusuke? If he's still asleep at this point, he's definitely going to be late for school. Just remembered. You. Hmm. All right, that's it for today. It's finally lunchtime. Man, I'm really in the mood for some bread today. Hey, can I speak with you for a moment? So about Dr. Maruki's counseling, you've already gone to see him, right? I see. That's good then. I'm sure you're aware, but Dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon. The higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? Counseling, eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the bread! Uh, senpai! So nice to see you! I've been doing quite well. Are you also about to eat lunch, Senpai? If it's alright with you, would you mind eating together? Ah, how nice to see you two together. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? We were just discussing eating together. Are you sure? Well, maybe I will tag along then. Um, is that your lunch, Yoshizawa-san? That doesn't really... I have to eat this much to stay active. I always burn through everything I eat. From my point of view, it's your two lunches that are the issue here. If you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. You should really work on your diets. <laughs> Touche. And you're right, yours does look nutritious. You know, you seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes, I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I'd worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? Well, it's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things, or more like... A reason to stand up to my problems. Isn't that right, Senpai? Stand up to your problems, eh? You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much. Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food! Oh, I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say, this drastic change has really knocked me for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? <laughs> I was just joking. Looks like time's up. You should head back to class as well. See you around. Hmm.
So you're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the Snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party at Destiny Land? By Destiny Land, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about THE Destiny Land, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work! We're really gonna have it at Destiny Land? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we canceled the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this! We'll just celebrate twice as hard today! I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? Delicious. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. The VIP life is incredible! Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. <sighs> you say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Well, yeah, but... Whoa, look at you being all obedient. Is the Destiny Land charm rubbing off on you? <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. 
But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This will really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father... Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes. I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Okumura-san? at all. Don't tell me. Monachan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. You're right. We followed all the same steps. We made sure we just took the treasure too. I should call home. This this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the Shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is... the same. I remember now. It's just like... what happened to my mom? So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today... I think we should all return home.
It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> That's... <coughs> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, Sai-san. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. It should have been okay. It should have been. Searching all along. Confacing while I know. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing. But what are we supposed to do from here on out? I should write something. On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. I know this, of course. However, what of the general public? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world.
Is that true? Listen this time, okay? <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> We're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but... With my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, can you hear me? Hear me? You... <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sae Nijima myself. Now, explain everything to me. 